All right, so Lux has been brought home. Gonna play with her, downloaded the app. There's a lot of fun stuff you could do on it and excited to see how my cats interact with her. So yeah. Yeah, my cat is not feeling it. I ordered a backpack on Amazon. It's like an animal carrier. Let's see how that works. I wanna get a patch to put on it. I got this idea from Reddit. Yeah, I didn't get the one at Disney because it was $50 and I wasn't fully convinced by it. I thought I could make a better one or buy a better one that I think would fit the vibe better. Cause these, you know, it's kind of, just that singular one, that singular style, color, whatever. And yeah, so I'm excited to see how it turns out. It comes in tomorrow, so. The pooch pouch came in for the droid. Yeah, it's meant to hold a dog, but it's perfect for my droid. You can see her in it right now. I'm gonna do a separate video on the bag. So yeah, I'll do that soon for those of you that are interested. Just so you guys can know more about the bag, I got a patch for it as well, just to cover the logo of the bag. But yeah, I got it on Amazon. Definitely a lot cheaper than the one in Disney it was $20. And I just got a patch for five something, so going well all right so i wanted to speak on the droid depot experience in disney so the first time i went to galaxy's edge i really wanted a droid but it was impossible it was packed you needed a reservation so i couldn't do it but due to covid protocol and capacity there was a lot less people this time and I got to do it, made a reservation while I was in the park. It was at 11 o'clock, I made a reservation for 11.30, got in, it really wasn't all that packed, it was painless. And yeah, made my droid. So for the R series, you get to pick the body, the head, the legs, and then the center leg. I thought white would look really classy and pretty and feminine in a way. For the head, they didn't have a white and black. And since it has like silver gray details, I thought this would work well and it did. There was a kid next to me doing a white and red one and that one looked really pretty. So there's definitely options. It just depends on what you want. It was easy, it was a cute experience, picked out the parts. It was like a conveyor belt type thing. Picked out the parts, put it in a bin, and then went to assemble it. There's someone that helps you do it. And yeah, then you pick all the little details. Of course, I, I did it in black so it would stand out against the white. You can do it in white as well or in any other color that you want. So, yeah, I think it turned out really nice. I can't wait to play with her more and use the app and get my cats accustomed to her. Maybe they'll play along and it'll be all good and dandy. They did show me how to maneuver the droid before leaving and set her up all nice in the little box. Reminds me of a Build-A-Bear box. 
but you know it does take time i think it's probably easier to move around the r series my sister got the b series and she loves it i like that we have different ones so we can compare and have one of each it was a really cute experience i felt like i was actually in star wars in the star wars realm i think disney obviously did a really great job as usual creating this well-rounded experience that is very accurate so yeah really really happy with her